how y'all doing tonight? Tonight we're going to make some ravioli. We use some of that Pennsylvania Macaroni Company. Man, that awesome ravioli. You know, they're sitting in this olive oil here. This really, really high quality. Man, this extra virgin olive oil is awesome. But the ravioli. I've got some Maryland Blue Crab ravioli we're going to make tonight. Man, it's going to be outstanding. You know, we did the lobster last time. I also got some cheese in the freezer. So we're going to do the Maryland Blue Crab. I'm just going to put some simple pre-made sauces together, add a few uh, little ingredients just to make a real nice cream sauce but with some robust tomato basil in there. Let me bring you over here and show you what we're going to get going. All right, y'all, come down here and we'll take a look. I've got a pan here going. We'll turn on about medium-low heat or so. I've got some of this, uh, I like this portoli. I think that make a pretty good sauce. This is their uh, tomato basil. We'll start out with it. Put that in the pan right there, good nice hearty sauce, right? And then I'm gonna go with the Alfredo sauce. They're the same thing. And uh, we'll mix these together. This is wonderful with seafood. You know, you've got a marinara almost, and, and then uh, you know an Alfredo creamy. You now look, another thing we're gonna use is I've got a little bit of a white wine, about a cup. I'm gonna pour some of that here, just kind of wash these jars out, put about half and half, and we'll shake the jars up, you know, get the rest of, last of the sauce out of there, but use this as a liquid, shaking liquid pretty much. All right, shake that up. You know, get, the, get all the goodness out of that jar that you can. Go ahead and pour that back in there. I don't know if I have enough in there, but oh well. Uh, go ahead with this jar with the Alfredo. Shake it up. on top here. Oh well. Alright, pour that in there. So we will mix these sauces right here with that white wine. We'll make a really nice mixture. And I'm gonna add a couple ingredients here just to flavor this up, just to really make everything pop. We'll go ahead and get this mixed up first. Well now I got that mixed up we're gonna go with some seasoning here. Love this stuff. Tango spice rum is burning really zesty. Uh, Italian seasoning. I'm going to add about a half a tablespoon of that stuff. Like I said, you can maybe a little bit more. You want to kind of be careful with that because it's got a lot of spice to it. I've got some fresh basil. Fresh basil. I've just got some, not fresh, but you know, just chopped basil. Add probably about a teaspoon of that. Boom, right there. That'd be good. I've got some garlic powder. Garlic powder adds a lot to this here. I'll add about a teaspoon of. Uh, Two teaspoons or so of garlic powder. All right, that'll be good for it. Uh, I like to do uh, a little bit of Cajun seasoning. My stuff, a little bezels, okay? You know, my favorite Cajun seasoning. Probably about a teaspoon of it, that much. Kick it up with the bezels. Bezels is not too hot, not too spicy, not too salty. Just, just right, and we're gonna stir these seasonings in here. When we got all that in there, we're just going to let it simmer, y'all, by a medium heat. We're going to turn our attention to the ravioli. Put a pot of boiling water. Dump my raviolis in here just for a minute. With that, uh, go ahead and just let these boil. I'm just basically getting them thawed out. As soon as they've been boiling or sitting here for about a minute, I'm going to go ahead and dump them in the strainer. We'll transfer them and let them simmer over here in the sauce. All right, they've been here about a minute. I'm going to go ahead and say dump them, strain them, and we'll add them to the sauce. My sauce simmer in here. Go ahead and give it a stir just to even everything out. Because I want those raviolis to cook here in the sauce and just get wonderful. Just, oh, yes, sir. I'm going to go ahead and let those put my raviolis over in here. And look, just want to be careful with these beauties just like this. I don't want to bust them up or anything like that. I mean, these, these are just gold right here. I mean, it, literally, this is this stuff of Maryland lump crab meat in here. Oh, my gosh. Blue claw crab. I mean, blue crabs. Man, oh, man. So we'll go ahead and get these all in here. We'll stir it up just a sec. Come in here, y'all. Then what we'll do is just kind of nestle them down here in this sauce. Just put them to bed, basically, right here. And just let them simmer. It's going to be absolutely wonderful. And that's what we're we'll doing is let these slow cook simmer here in this sauce. Oh man, just wonderful stuff here, y'all. Man, oh man. 
Look at that. So I'm going to simmer just a little bit right down there in that sauce. I'm going to turn this down a lower heat. But I just want that to sit there and simmer and let those get all wonderful. Look, every minute or so, come over here and just kind of move them around a little bit. Just make sure they're not sticking. But I'm probably going to let these sit here and simmer, let's see, for about 10 minutes. That could be good. Get these all nice and cooked and everything. All right, y'all. So it's been simmering here for about 12 minutes. Go ahead and take some of these wonderful raviolis out of here. Put them on a plate. And uh, we get this served up. This looks wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. It smells great, too. All right, y'all. I'm going to put a little bit of uh, Parmesan on top of here. I think that'd be good. A little bit of shredded Parmesan cheese. Oh, yes, sir. Look at that. Absolutely fantastic. Y'all, so let's give it a taste. Cut one of these gorgeous raviolis up here. This blue crab. Maybe I shouldn't have put it in a bowl. It should go on a plate. Oh, well. Whatever. Look at that. A little crab meat all in there. If I can get that on the floor, let's give it a try. Mm, mm, mm. That is delicious. So much crab in there, too. I mean, you can really taste that crab meat. Oh, it's got good flavor to it, too. Tastes the seasoning, almost like that crab's been boiled. Oh, it came straight from a, a big crab boil. Oh, wow. Let's taste it again. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, that's absolutely wonderful. That cream sauce just compliments it. You know, you gotta try. It's uh, the Pennsylvania Macaroni Company is where I ordered this stuff from. That's their, their blue crab raviolis, their lobster cheese. They got everything you can imagine. Macaroni. So, y'all give it a try. Y'all please like my videos. Give me some thumbs up. Sub my channel. Thank y'all so much for everything. God bless. I hope y'all have a wonderful new year. Appreciate you.